I wonder how Jeff's getting on. Uh, well, he said he was going to fish the tide race this morning, uh, wasn't he? Yeah, let's pop down and see how he's getting on. Yeah, why not? Our mate Jeff is an expert fly caster. He only fishes in the sea, and he's caught some spectacular fish at home and abroad. River, yes, it is. There's a, there's a lot of similarities, Mike. With that, it's uh, it's the current that's the the thing you have to work, in my opinion. Here, um, the important issues, as far as I can see, are having a fly that won't pull right across the surface. All oh, right. Um, so, have you got a sinking line on there? Or? No, this is a it's a floating line. Um, if the water is reasonably shallow. Um, I think you're better with a floating line and a fly that, that will sink below the surface and, and not pull across the top. Right, so how do you get the fly to sink then? Well, uh, either the amount of weight that's in it or the way in which it's fished. Um, depending upon the current and the speed of the current will probably determine what sort of bow you need to put in the line upstream. So I guess it doesn't need to be very deep, really. Does it? I mean, what are you talking about? Uh, no, half it's, a meter it's, under the water. Yeah, no. something like that. Uh, yeah, in the top two feet or so. Yeah. Oh, there we go. You see, and there he is. Yeah, well done. A little Pollock, I think. <laughs> Mind you, you'd, you'd pay good money to catch a trout like this, wouldn't you? <laughs> you would do. Uh, well, that's only well, tiny. That's a bit bigger <laughs> I think so. I yeah, think a bit yeah. bigger than yeah, that one. Complaining <laughs> if you like that, I expect. But it's good mm. fun anyway. Yeah, it's great it's fun, certainly. Fish, aren't they? they are, and, and um, I think in general, maybe not Pollock, but they tend to give a good account of themselves yeah. in the sea. Uh, so you strip it out. Fairly well, fast or, or what? It, I mean, just vary it really, because yeah. the faster you strip it, the faster the fly will rise in the water, and and really, I suppose in an ideal world, the fish are waiting for the bait to be swept along, and the bait not able to cope with the current, and so they're struggling against the current, and that's presumably what you have to try and emulate. Right. 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 Mm. So a little, bit of variation. A bit of variation, yes, yeah, yeah. and and. Uh, I think if the current is is reasonably quick, you don't need to strip at all. You can just let it flow down, and the line, as the line tightens, it'll raise the fly right. in the water. And they'll take it even when it's sort of dragging in the current yeah, line. Yeah, they'll least. take it. Because yeah. When you're fishing a river, you know, you, the the idea you mend the line all the time. I think like yeah. to try and stop the fly dragging. Don't well, you? you you can let it drag, and as it drags, it'll right raise in the water. And quite often, you'll find that uh, at the end of a run when the line straightens out the, the, the fish will take at that point and that's just the point the flies raising in the water oh, right. it's much better I think to try and cast across a current than to fish directly into it and down it um, and that you've not got as much movement of the fly across the current and, and if you're just going up and down it's nah, it just doesn't seem to be so successful yeah so I guess on a long line, 
the fly probably moves slower than mm. it does on a short line. Does yes, it, it does. Yeah. It'll 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 go across a, a wider arc. Therefore, you're covering more water, and it's the usual thing of yeah, fishing yeah. Uh, short distances and then moving it out and covering wider arcs all the time. There's a little pollock having a go at this each time it goes across yeah. here. Yeah, so there's plenty of bites anyway. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think as far as the bites go, what you tend to see here is, um, especially in a current, you just feel a steady pull. And the idea is really just clamp down on the line rather than have to really strike, especially if you're fishing up current. Yeah. Um, yeah. So that was a bit of a mend there, was it? Yeah, why, why uh, you do that? yeah I'll show you a mend and then I mean, the current isn't too bad here, but if we, if we fish directly across that current, there, there's a bow coming in the line there, and if we just oh, right. flick it up current... It so the flow's dragging the line into a bow, yeah, and got a bow. flick it back to straighten absolutely, it out. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Now, I mean, we, we're catching small pollock, but you could just as easily get a bass doing this, or, yeah, or a mackerel, could, or what, Absolutely, what you... Yeah. You, yeah any of the fish will take like that and try further out there and see if we can because as you're going further out the um, the bows become bigger and you might need to mend a bit more frequently there what it all seems to me is that that fly fishing is ideal when the fish are interested in small sized prey because yeah. you can use a fairly small fly and you can actually get it out. It's the weight of the line that carries the fly out, isn't it? It is, yeah. I mean, there's the problems with flies. I mean, you can use big flies and, and quite often they're very successful. And I think I'd prefer using big flies to small flies in, in most instances. Yeah. Um, and I think from what I've seen, people use flies that are, in my opinion, too small. Um, fish will take big flies and big flies can be difficult to cast if they're made of synthetic material which dries out very quickly because then they tend to flutter in oh, the right. air and and it's uh, it's more difficult to to cast them whereas the natural materials hold on to the water and give you a little bit of weight to enable the fly to pass through the air oh, i'd never thought about that but i mean the fly fishing is the ideal way of getting a very lightweight lure out of the fish, isn't it? It is, I mean, yeah. It's a perfect yeah. way of doing that. And the, the advantage of the lightweight lure made of um, very flimsy filament is that it flutters in the current and has movement of its own. Yeah. Yes. Mm. That gear looks a bit better than the crap, are you? <laughs> <Jeff>? <laughs> um, yeah, it's, uh, it's reasonable gear. It's specifically made for saltwater fly fishing, but you don't necessarily need to use specialist tackle. Um, in most instances you could use ordinary reservoir fly tackle, it yeah. would be fine. Yeah. Um, I mean you, might... you, you do a lot of sea fishing with it don't you? So yeah, it's, I think it's worth I, having good gear. Yeah I mean I, I only fish in the, in, the, in the sea so the advantage I think in, in having tackle that's made for the, the conditions are that the rods tend to be much stiffer um, and heavier than, than reservoir tackle. Um, and that enables you to cast bigger flies in in bad conditions. So what is that rod then? It's a, it, this is just an eight weight eight rod. Um, so that's not very heavy, is it? It's really? not very heavy, no. Oh. But um, if you compared it to an eight weight reservoir rod, it would be much stiffer. Oh, There's right. a lot more backbone to it than um, than a reservoir rod. Um, so what's the advantage of that then? Really? Well, the advantage is is mainly in being able to to get large flies out into strong winds. Um, and also in the sea you can come across some large fish and, and therefore yeah. you need to be able to beat them and, yeah. and you need a bit of backbone in the rod to do that. Uh, so it's an eight weight line you're using as well? Um, uh, it depends upon the rod yes but I tend to use the, the, the right weight of, of line for rod. Um, in heavy conditions it can help to shorten the leader and put um, a higher weight line on, go up yeah. to a nine weight, um, yeah. but it depends upon the rod. Some rods will take it, some won't. Um, again, in bad conditions, everything should be shorter. You're shorter than your leaders. Um, at the moment, I'm fishing a leader that's about eight or nine feet long, and for most instances, that's more than enough. Yeah. And in many instances, especially if you are using a sinking line, that would be too long. 
and we'd be looking at four feet of, of a leader, that's all. And the reel's got a drag on it, has it? The reel, yeah, the reel's got, um, uh, has a drag system on it. With the reels, um, salt water can do them a lot of damage, so uh, some, you can get some reels with fully enclosed drag systems that don't get bound up by salt. But yes, it has a drag system. Uh, I find always setting it very light is, is best, and then you can tighten it up if you need to, if, you, if you're hooking to a yeah. big fish. Um, and that you have to strip the line off the reel to cast, and if it's tight, you, yeah. it's a lot of work trying to take it off all the time. Um, but it's made of anodized metal, anodized aluminium, uh, so it has some protection against the sea. Uh, but other than that, yeah. um, it's yeah. Well, I think nothing's totally salt waterproof. No, is it? they all go in time. Yeah. Well, they've got some graphite reels, but yeah. again, yeah. I've never tried yeah. those. I, there must be some future in those yeah, sort of that so. sort of tackle. Yeah. yeah. And the stripping basket that's fairly low tech. Isn't it? The, the, the stripping basket, basket is as, as low tech as you. <laughs> I'm very proud of low tech stripping baskets. <laughs> there is no need to spend a lot of money on tackle at all. No. Um, and in many instances, it wouldn't make any difference here really whether you had specialist saltwater tackle or ordinary trout tackle. Yeah, no that's, difference that's at all. That's a relief to me. That's all I've got. <laughs> Uh, it's obviously more important to, to know where the fish yeah, are and... Yeah. Uh, well, that applies uh, to everything. That does, it? and that's, yeah. uh, that's the secret. Right place, right time. Yeah, that's it. And the tackle is a sort of... Uh, yeah, it only gives advantages yeah. in certain situations. Yeah. Oh, grief, me too. I, I dislocated my toe and I've done all sorts... Uh, we are crackers.